My, 27M, parents, 50s, were robbed using Facebook Marketplace and now are excluding me from holiday get-togethers. Last week I was able to secure an order for the new Xbox, letting my parents know, as they were partially paying as a Christmas gift. They ordered one as well in case my order didn't complete for whatever reason. I was able to get my Xbox and their order completed as well. I asked a few friends if they wanted the extra, but they're all either waiting to get it later or don't have the money to afford it right now. My parents decided to turn it into a scalper situation and sell it for more money on Facebook. Told them at that moment they can do what they want, but I am not getting involved at all because it's scummy. We've talked about this before when I mentioned wanting the Xbox, about the scalpers and all, and how terrible it is. As my title describes, they were robbed upon attempting to sell it to people who claimed to be interested. No one was hurt and the police are handling it, but the Xbox, whatever money they had on them and whatever other items those people decided to take were stolen. Now they are extremely angry that it happened and that I did not offer to help them and protect them in case this happened. They knew damn well I told them before I'm not getting involved at all, and acknowledged it. They went out of their way to exclude me from coming over on Christmas, and probably New Year's as well, as punishment. What should I do? Too long didn't read, parents got robbed trying to scalp a new Xbox. Angry at me for not helping them when I advised them prior to this situation I would not be involved. Now uninvited to family get together for the holidays. In my experience, anytime there's a 2 versus 1 in interpersonal drama, including situations with your own parents, it doesn't matter whose side is right or wrong. Whoever has more social capital tends to win these situations. It's almost always the parents. On the plus side, you have a better idea of who your parents are. They thought they could cheat the system and come out on top. The same system ended up cheating them and now they're embarrassed as well as scummy. Not only that, they're willing to ruin a perfectly good holiday for you over petty interpersonal drama. I can promise you right now that they are not going to see the error of their ways and apologize. If being included means a lot to you, I would send a text to whichever of your parents is more reasonable saying hey, I know things are tense, but it's the holidays, we're still a family, I'm still your son, and I'm hurt that this drama has put a wedge between us. See if that gets you anywhere. Obviously, avoid rehashing what happened with the Xbox. Yes, they were wrong. But being robbed was a scary situation for them and being reminded that they made the wrong decision made them retreat further into anger and denial. Often, people in the wrong are more offended by someone else's lack of tact than they are by their own actions, it sucks, but life is kind of like that. You don't have to deal with it if you don't want to, but it will probably be up to you to deal with it if you want to spend time with them this holiday season. If your parents are the ones actually hosting and giving out invitations, then there isn't much you can do. If they are not the ones hosting, reach out to the host and ask them what's up. You gave them good advice. They are competent adults, supposedly. They didn't need you chaperoning them to the swap, and it doesn't even sound like they asked you to protect them in advance. Hopefully, as they get past the initial fear and anger, they will accept you did nothing wrong, but gave them good advice which they ignored. It seems that your parents are not very good people and the problem here is that you are surprised that they acted like not very good people? I don't know, you've known them for much longer than we have and I'm sure that situations like this have risen up in the past. Enjoy your Christmas with your Xbox. Sorry, but your parents' feelings are invalid and I would personally not pay any mind to their temper tantrum. I'm sorry they were robbed and I'm glad they are unharmed. But you specifically told them you were not going to be involved with their decision to scalp a product over social media and you had a conversation about them about how it was a bad idea. They are presumably neurotypical, cognitively abled adults, and made an independent decision to go ahead with this sale so they bear all responsibility for the consequences. Besides, if you were with them, you could have been robbed too. Mom, 45F, unsupportive of my, 16F, 
dream to become a lawyer. So I've always been good with deduction, argumentation, logical analysis, etc. I've always been intrigued by law even though I know it is a very tedious field at times. I also have always topped in my class academically. I'm trying to get into a great uni. The issue is that my Indian mom thinks law is a subject for stupid people. She thinks that since it doesn't involve much math or science, which I excel at as well, that school failures go into law since they have no other plans. She thinks that since I used to score well in maths, I've wasted my potential to become an engineer, I would commit suicide if I did engineering. Thus whenever I try to study, she doesn't respect me at all, she screams, laughs, vacuums right outside of my door when she knows I have an exam the next day. Every night she comes into my room and tells me that I'm going to fail in my life because I didn't choose engineering. It's getting me down, to be honest, and it's hard for me to keep motivation to study. What should I do? Too long didn't read, my mom thinks my dream to become a lawyer is stupid even though I excel academically. She wants me to do engineering and shits on me 24-7. Are you in India or abroad? I'm also Indian, and a lawyer here in the US. Back in India, lawyers do have a reputation of being a lower tier career for people who don't succeed elsewhere, although that's changing. Do you know any Indian lawyers in your area? It may help for her to talk to people in our community about how the legal profession is different abroad, and considered a top tier field in other places. She may be operating off of outdated information and could use perspective. Obviously, her behavior is totally totally inappropriate, but I think dealing with the root issue of her misunderstanding is a better bet than trying to convince her not to do mean and petty shit. She thinks those things are appropriate in general, so I doubt she'd be convinced by anyone saying she's out of line. She might be convinced to stop doing them if she can be convinced you're entering a valid career. That will give you space to study and pass your classes so you can get out of the house and have more leverage in determining your future relationship, if any with her. We live in another country in Southeast Asia. Sucks that such perceptions about law still exist but thank you for the sound advice. I'm trying to convince her but she still seems uncertain. I'll have to persevere. Having a scientific slash math brain is key for the top tier lawyers. It seems like maybe your mom doesn't have a lot of experience with the field of law and diversity of careers. Perhaps find some examples of career role models or possible paths that you might take. There are whole fields of financial law, environment law, even nuclear engineering law. As a mom, I also want to tell you, don't do engineering to make your mom happy. Your job is to know yourself and make yourself happy. My kid didn't choose the university I would have picked for her and didn't choose the career path I would have picked. It makes me so happy to see her thrive as an adult and I tell her frequently how glad I am she didn't take my advice. So love your mom and focus on being a happy and successful adult in the future. Patent attorney here. If you like science and math but don't want to be an engineer, patent law is amazing. You get to work with inventors and tech, but don't have to debug code. Gift her Mahatma Gandhi's biography. The first half is about his law career and his time practicing law in South Africa slash India. It might change her mind slash influence her. Bottom line though do your best to convince her cause it'll be easier with her support but you don't need her support to be successful in your goals. Believe in yourself and trust your gut. One day you will be a successful lawyer and your mom will be proud. You'll know when she starts introducing you as her lawyer kid slash bragging about your career. Good luck hope you got this! Exclamation mark. Go to college then law school. You'll be old enough to do and make your own decisions. So, just make your own decisions. If you don't like how she responds to your dreams then stop talking to her about them. Find a mentor at school AMD speak with them. My, 22M, girlfriends, 20F, friends constantly talk shit about me and my girlfriend doesn't do anything about it and I don't know how I'm supposed to handle this. A while ago I found out that my girlfriend's friends hate me. I'm not all that surprised about it, but I didn't know the extent of it. A whole group of girlfriends don't approve of me apparently. I only found out because one of her friends is a long time friend of mine and she told me about it. My girlfriend actually never even 
mentioned it. They apparently were talking trash about me right in front of my girlfriend and she didn't do anything about it. My friend told me they talked trash about me personally, my job, my friends, pretty much everything. After I found out, I asked my girlfriend if her friends like me. He lied straight to my face and said of course they do, why wouldn't they? I knew she must have been lying but it's not like I don't understand that it could be hard to tell me that they hate me, so I let it go. About a week ago, my friend told me that they were straight up trying to set her up with some guy and saying how I'm a shitty boyfriend and that she could do better. Honestly, after that I kinda lost my patience about this whole thing ND told her she's gotta tell them to mind their own business and shut up. She then started crying saying I'm asking her to choose between me or her friends, even though I didn't say that at all, and saying that they talk shit about all the boyfriends not just me. I'm weirded out by the fact that she'd let them talk like that. It's also weird that she thinks this is okay. Does this mean that she cares more about her friends than she does about me? I'm not even sure if the relationship is sustainable if her friends keep doing stuff like that. Too long didn't read, my GF's friends hate me and constantly talk shit about me. My girlfriend won't stand up for me and doesn't seem to care about it. I'm going to skip most of the messed up crap and go for the big one any so's friends slash family that bring up cheating should immediately be told by so never mention anything like that again. Honestly those are toxic friends with no morals, cheating is never the answer. Her friends not liking you is fine. Her friends trying to set her up with another dude is not. Now, say your version of those two sentences to her. If my friends started talking like that about my partner, I'd defend him. Not sure I'd want to date someone who didn't defend me. If that's how they talk about everyone, they sound pretty sour and toxic, and she's okay with that. The company she keeps says a lot about her. If my friends started talking like that about my partner, I'd defend them. They are her friends, and they are entitled to have an opinion about you, or other people, and to give your GF their opinions. That's what friends are for, they are supposed to give advice, including dating advice. You can't really control them, and you can't win their approval. And you can't force her to break up with her friends, she has to want to do that on her own. So now you know that they are actively working against you, and advising her to cheat on you. They are your enemies, you don't have to like them. You should, however, tell your girlfriend that you know that they hate you, and that they are trying to set her up with someone else. Spell it out that you would consider that cheating. And because she's been taking their side and lying to you about it, you don't trust her anymore. It could have set her up with other guys, and under their influence you don't trust her anymore to be faithful. So no, she doesn't have to choose between you and her friends. Clearly, she and her shitty friends are a package, and you can choose this package, or drop it. So drop it. Pick up, let her follow her shitty friends. Did the phrase either you deal with this or I'm gone come out of your mouth? Because it should.